Now we are going to solve the first problem in 7th Roman letter numerical problem in atomic physics and nuclear physics chapter very interesting problem here <coughs> radium is given radium is one of the heavy elements and uh, that radium can be represented by RA 88 is the atomic number 226 is the mass number. We know very well about uh, radium since it is radioactive this one will emit alpha particle in, in this problem what is given radium experiences 3 alpha decay 3 alpha decay means it emits 3 alpha particles what is asked in the problem find the number of neutrons in the daughter element finally after the 3 alpha decays gets over a new element will be formed what would be the neutron number of the final daughter element that is a question how many alpha decays very important one here 3 alpha decays 3 alpha decays to be followed that you should not forget we know the symbol for alpha 2he4 so here i am going to draw the arrowhead that is radium it undergoes alpha decay first alpha decay since it is first, first alpha decay we can write it as 2he4 this is first alpha decay now one daughter element will be formed after the emission of first alpha particle the first daughter element can be called as x we know very well that atomic number will reduce by 2 units after balancing you will get here 86 mass number will be reduced by 4 units therefore 222 you will get this is called as first alpha decay first alpha decay first process over now we are going to pass on to the <coughs> second alpha decay process let us take this daughter element x 86 222 that is going to undergo another alpha decay therefore plus 2 he 4 can be written this particle also this heavy element also emits alpha decay alpha alpha particle therefore this one can be called as second alpha decay step by step we have to do only then there won't be any error, error. this 86x222 when it emits one alpha particle what would be the new element daughter element that can be called as y so the new daughter element will have atomic number 84 atomic number reduces by 2 units and mass number is reduced by 4 units how much 218 one alpha particle is emitted so second alpha decay process over now i am going to write the third alpha decay process let us take this daughter element y 84 218 draw the arrow head this one also emits alpha particle therefore 2 he 4 can be written this is the third alpha decay process now look at what happens now this one was named as x this daughter element was named as y the final daughter element can be named as z what would be the <coughs> atomic number atomic number reduces by 2 units no therefore 82 can be written mass number is reduced by 4 units therefore 214 can be written are you clear so this is the daughter element daughter element mass number is 82 and its atomic number is 214 this is a final daughter element final daughter element what is asked in the problem you are asked to find out the neutron number of the daughter element that is the question here 82 is nothing but lead clear if you look at the uh, name of the element for the respective atomic number 82 you will get lead so the lead is lead is the element its symbol is pb so the new element is 82 82 for 82 the new element is lead 214 
So this is the final daughter element, finally you have obtained after 3 alpha decay process. Now you are asked to calculate the neutron number. How to calculate neutron number? To calculate neutron number, very easy, neutron number is equal to mass number, mass number is this one, mass number minus atomic number, atomic number is equivalent to proton number, okay. Atomic number is equivalent to proton number. Now we know very well mass number is it is the sum of both neutron and proton. So 214 minus proton number or atomic number is 82. After subtraction finally you are getting the number of neutrons that is 132 nuclear 4 minus 2 2 11 minus 8 3. So finally you are getting 132 neutrons are there in the lead the nucleus. So, this is the answer number of neutrons very simple problem ok.